The shotgun apocalypse of multiplayer is coming to an end, but we did end up leveling up a few of them. So today we'll be getting our Gracie Auto Gold Viper here in Zombies. Now, I'm pretty sure the nerf is coming tomorrow as well as they're adding shipment to multiplayer. But since I already have the shotgun leveled up, we're going to go ahead and get it gold here in Zombies. Now, normally I don't do this, but apparently this helps with the algorithm a lot. So I'm going to take a page out of Noel Miller's book and ask you guys to just do it. Anyways, like I was saying, I did end up leveling the Gracie auto up to 70. I never got it gold. I think I'm only a few long shots off, but it gave me gold early. So that's pretty cool. But technically, I don't have it multiplayer gold. It's it's complicated. It just gave me the camo early, but I'm not counting it. And I was kind of close on the revolving shotgun, but that doesn't matter because this is the build we're going in with here. Uh, I had some people ask in the comments yesterday if you can dual wield the double barrels and you cannot. Uh, they take out the proficiency, the kits, and something else else here i think the ammo types as well so you can't use any of those in zombies which is very unfortunate because i'm sure the the akimbo dual wield sawed off shotguns would be insane but speaking of sawed off we have the sawed off barrel on here the a5 smooth bore muzzle which is the wider pellet spread one the carver four grip which helps with recoil control and hip fire accuracy 12 gauge 10 round drum that's just as much ammo as you can have in this thing high entire grip i'm pretty sure that helps with hip fire as well as recoil control and the cgc h4 stock which i think helps with accuracy recoil control and i think aim stability yep all those and then i think we need to put a sight on here because we do need 800 crits just in case i miss some so i'm gonna throw on the slate reflector because that's my favorite sight so far in this game and for our camera progression here i have absolutely nothing done in zombies not a single thing so we're gonna have to try to get all of these today last time i had some people say i was cheating for setting up an auto clicker to sit there and do what i've already would have been doing uh, i personally i don't think it's cheating this set up something to sit there and click for you because what's the difference between me sitting there clicking and the the mouse just doing it itself we're gonna try to do it again today since we do have another shotgun but with the gracie auto it is as the name suggests auto so i think it might not be as viable because i'm there's not the time to pump the shotgun in between each shot giving it enough time to reload itself if we get the right covenant but this is all gonna be rng we need the right covenant we need the right map we need the right time hopefully we can get it if not this is gonna be uh, a very long video but just in case let's just go ahead hop in and get it over with all right we're on the most disappointing zombies ever created. Let's go ahead and take a few out. We have so much to do. We have 4,000 kills to get, 4,000 pack-a-punch kills to get. This is going to be a nightmare. But only if our, our macro doesn't work. First, let's test it. Okay, that's our macro going to work. All right, turn off now, please. Stop working. Okay, not going to check the covenants because it's just going to make me upset if the one I want is there and we can't grab it. But what is this? Is this on Hotel Royale? No, we could have easily got the 4,000 kills done, but we should probably wait till we have pack punch. That way we can double dip. Let's just go to Blitz. Oh, look, our spot's already here for Blitz. Perfect. I don't know how people think this is cheating. I'm just climbing up here. I guess I'll do it manually to appease the people because this is very thrilling. Oh, man. Is, is this difficult? I'm really glad I don't have something clicking for me. But in other news, I've been seeing leaks come out that there might be some sort of PvP mode coming to zombies. Like, I, I think it's rumored to be like grief. I don't know. I think we've only seen like file names at this point. But if that comes to Vanguard Zombies... Are you guys going to be playing it? Because I know a whole lot of people aren't even really playing Vanguard Zombies besides to grind for camos. But what modes or things that they could add to Vanguard to make you guys be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll hop on there. Because something like Grief could be a lot of fun. But they definitely got a lot of work to do here. All right, first thing we're going to do is check our covenants. Please have the reload one. Ammo Gremlin, let's go. Stowed ammos, refill ammo slowly from stock. We just need to upgrade that. Once we get the chance. And then there's Unholy Ground is also another one that can help out a lot. But for now... We just need to grind up our money until we can get Pack-A-Punch. And then we need to do a few more events. That way we have enough hearts to upgrade and get more Covenants. Might as well just keep doing the Blitz events. Because those are so much faster and easier at these lower, lower rounds. Let's hop into... Do I want to do this one? Fine. I guess we'll do it. Oh, I should have probably grabbed uh, a little bit of Jug. The perks really don't feel like they do all that much, especially Speed Coal, which is what I'll be grabbing right now. But a lot of the perks are very, very underwhelming. It doesn't feel like they really make too much of a difference. I mean, obviously with Stamina Up, you can see the, the speed difference in Jug, you can definitely survive longer. But like, I don't know, it seems very boring. I kind of wish the skill tree was still here and you could just upgrade everything with crystals instead of having to go to the machine 1800 times. But unfortunately, it's not like that, which 
is why we'll still be playing a little bit of Cold War on the side while we grind Dark Aether on uh, my PlayStation account. I think we'll be we'll be putting that up tomorrow. I just need to get some guns leveled up. Well, we got double points. Let's try to get as many kills as we can because we need all that money. I think I grabbed double points probably about a second or two too early. So we're not going to get double our completion bonus for this event, which kind of sucks because that would have been sh money. I just need to pay attention every time I see a double points pop up. And apparently they're supposed to be adding an Easter egg by like season two or something like that. I thought it was going to come to season one, but apparently they don't have enough time to finish it. I don't even know what an Easter egg on this would be like. Like it seems like it's going to be very, very RNG on what you get, but it might just play out like the outbreak Easter eggs where it's always going to be available on each area. Let's kill these guys and then check our covenant. Get off me. I do kind of like how after you finish an event, you go back to the hub, but there's still zombies to kill, but it's not like an extreme amount. It's not like you're being bombarded. I guess I kind of am RN, but... I, I like the ability to, after you've completed something, like a round, to be sent back to where everything is to upgrade, which is, I think that's a nice addition. Okay, mother load, brain rot, cold of the week. We'll probably just get mother load, just in case we end up finding some decoys. Actually, let's see if there's a decoy in this box. There is. There usually is decoys in those boxes for some reason. That seems to be the main drop I get. I mean, I'm not complaining because I think decoys are probably the best tactical in uh, in Vanguard zombies, but uh, just drop me drop me multiple if you're going to drop me some, you know? Okay, we'll grab quick revive, and we'll also grab jug, even though these tier one versions of the perks aren't too crazy. So might as well get them. Another decoy, please. Thank you. Was that a combat shotgun? We've already done that. It always seems to give me weapons that I've already done from drops. All right, let's just go do an event. Sitting around killing like the five zombies that spawn here isn't going to help me. I'm going to go do blitz and then we should be able to pack a punch after that. And then once we're done with this blitz and we're pack a punch and hopefully we have the right covenant, I'm just going to do the events until I get the one that I'm looking for and until I unlock the whole map and be able to pick up every perk. So it's kind of crazy that there's not like viable doors in this, but I guess there wasn't viable doors in like Onslaught or Outbreak either. I don't know. This zombies mode, I feel like it could be really good because look, the, the visuals in this are amazing. Like it just needs more content and maybe a, a, a dark aether change. Who's this dude? Who cares? Get tea bagged backwards. Stop. Zombies get away. I'm teabagging. I'd hit that nuke, but I want all the points I can get here. It already kind of feels like this shotgun's pretty weak. Maybe I chose the wrong attachments for this. I wanted to do sawed off because I felt like it's going to be like the faster movement speed would help. Though I'm already going to just be hip firing everything. So I didn't really care too much about accuracy. So hopefully it paid off picking this. Maybe I just need pack punch. But we did end up getting our first broom shrieker killed there like a few seconds ago. We just need about 99 more of those, which is going to be insane. Hopefully we can get it done. I'm just going to try to go until like the game crashes or I die. So I guess we'll see which one go comes first, but we're going to have to maybe go all the way up to like wave 20, which is kind of insane in this game. And it's going to take a lot. And I mean a lot of time. You hear another boom shrieker. Where are you? We need to get all the boom shriekers that we can. There we go. But then we took him out. Wait, did we take him out or the objective complete? I couldn't tell. I feel like he would have blown up either way. Oh, well, we got enough to pack now which is all that matters. All right, let's check our covenants. We have unholy ground. We'll take that. We don't have the ammo gremlin that we need. We need that to be upgraded, but we can pack a punch here. We have 24 bolts in the mag now, which is pretty nice. Take some of these guys out. Boom shrieker. Goodbye. There's another one. Easy. We got to make sure we take out as many of those boom shriekers as we can. I hear another boom shrieker. Where are you? I heard you spawn. Or is that just a sound normal zombies make when they spawn? I think it was a normal zombie that spawned. Oh, there's one. What's up, pal? Gone. Easy bonus points. And another easy. All right, let's just do a blitz. We'll keep doing blitzes until we get everything that we need, and then we'll try to do our little AFK strat. So that's what I'm really banking on here. I don't want to have to kill 4,000 zombies manually with this thing. Well, we might as well get some covenant kills just in case we can't do our AFK strat. So I'll just stand up here, let unholy ground do the work. I should probably grab stamina up, at least tier one while I'm here. Grab it. What? Where'd this tire come from? Who's driving cars over here? Wait a minute. This isn't the type of tire they would use in World War II. This game's historical accuracy is... It really just ruined my immersion. While I'm sitting here killing these zombies with laser guns. I said I was going to let Unholy Ground do all the work, and then I just started walking around. I instantly forgot once I went to go get stamina up. So now I'm back to it. Go ahead, jump up. Gone. These zombies got hops, dude. They're clear box jumping... Like, what is this? 15 feet? Go ahead, jump up, somebody. There you go. Come on, Boom Shrieker. I can hear you. Come on up, pal. There you go. Fucked all the papers up, Boom Shrieker, but I mean, you do you. Easy camo. Got the rosary. 200 eliminations with seven attachments equipped. That Boom Shrieker's freaking out over there. And you go put it out of its misery. Oh, double points. That's going to help our bonus by Boom Shrieker. I wonder why that spot's so glitched out. Oh, there's another Boom Shrieker. Reload. No. Oh, at least we got the double points from our objective. And we pissed Vaughn off a little more. Think you've something? 
only my undying hatred. He literally says he has an undying hatred. This is a very hateful man. Who hurt him? All right, let's check our covenants. Zombies, do me a favor and fuck off. Actually, I'll open the box first. What she got for me? A monkey bomb. Pretty good, but I already have two decoys. I'd rather keep the decoys. We're getting a lot of boom shriekers spawning. Let's go. We're already at 10, 11 now, I'm pretty sure. Please have upgrades for me. It looks like his highest is blue, so probably not. Yeah, cringe. Can't pack a punch again, at least not yet. All we have is a harvest event. Not even on Hotel Royale. Come on. All right, go ahead, spawn in zombies. I ain't got all day. Here, I'll open the door for you. Go on, sleep. Okay, maybe it takes three shots to kill zombies now. That's uh, a little concerning. I just need to get very, very close to these zombies. None of them are dropping ruins. None of you guys? Come on. There we go. I knew somebody had to have them. I hear a boom shrieker too. So I'm gonna stay at this first objective till I'm sure that there's no more boom shriekers that'll spawn. Cause I think it kind of has like a four elite spawn limit for these early harvest rounds. So I'll make sure that I get them all. And it's only like a few per sin eater. Maybe it's only one for this first one. So it would already spawned in by now. All right, let's move it. And we can grab all these runes that have already spawned conveniently. Thank you. Yep. I hear a boom shrieker. It just blew up from the door. That's cool. That was a waste. We got another one there, though. Two spawn that time. Any more, though? Trying to really optimize my elite kills here. Oh, there's another. Goodbye. Oh, there's an MGK. What's going on, dude? We need about 20 of you. Jeez, he's really tanking him. I know that his back is his weak point, but it's kind of insane how low damage the shotgun's doing. The nerfs already roll out. I hope not. That was really annoying when something was o OP in, like, multiplayer, and they would nerf it in both multiplayer and zombies for Cold War. I saw Lego tweet about it today, and I I agree. It definitely should be like def like different entities. Like who cares if like weapons OP and zombies? Just let it be OP. All right, we have enough to pack punch too, so there's no like waste in being here. I'm just gonna put the runes in. We'll move this sin eater one spot over. We'll get some more boom shriekers to spawn. Oh, and another MGK. Come on, let me get that backpack, pal. He's not letting me shoot it. I hear a boom shrieker though. There we go. Hey. Stop shooting me. How do you like getting shot? Huh? Doesn't feel very nice, does it? Okay, maybe for him it does. He's still alive. Yeah, this thing definitely needs Pack-A-Punch, like, now. I don't know how far we can go with this. If it's um, round five, Pack-A-Punch one, it's not doing well. Oh, there's another Boom Shrieker. Please reload faster. Thank you. Why is it only reloading to eight rounds? I don't understand this. 16 that time. Now 24. The base mag in this is 10. When I reload, why is it only reload eight rounds? I feel like it has to do with Ammo Gremlin Covenant. This is ridiculous the amount of times I have to reload to get back to full. I'll go till this insta-kill's out, and then we'll fill up the Sin Eater and hope... That are our covenant upgrades there. This thing's nasty with insta-kill, though. The bullet spread on this is insane. Look at that. Three zombies right here. One shot. Three kills. Helps with the, the kills rapidly, for sure. I forget that I have to do that as well. But hopefully, there'll be enough zombies spawning when we get to our AFK strat. That'll just knock all that out on its own. Okay, insta-kill's out. I'm putting the runes in. We're getting out of here. All right, there's a legendary in here. What is it? Hold the weak. I don't need that. Oh, hold on. Let's pack punch two. And take on this MGK and this Boom Shrieker. There we go. Oh, double points? Perfect. That's what I want to see. So many elites spawning here. Let's go! This is perfect. We're at 20 Boom Shriekers now. We just need 80 more. The elites honestly aren't that hard. 100 Boom Shriekers seems like a lot. But if you go to round 10, maybe even round like 12, you should be able to get all of them. Look at this. We're just racking up the camos here. That's our fourth MGK kill already. Now all we have to do is... A Exfil or a, a transmit. Sorry, Exfil is not an event. Is there really nothing I can upgrade? Like, come on, help me out here. Let's just make sure that we check around the map for extra elites. We can also get dead shot. We'll take that. I hear a dude up here. He's gonna be right around the corner or underneath me, I guess. Boom Shrieker, sleep. Oh, there's another one. Reload. I gotta remember, I gotta reload multiple times to get fully back up, which is stupid. Oh, there's a Boom Shrieker outside. Gone. Oh, there's the big guy I was hearing. Let me just door bang them sleep because right now our ammo gremlin is not helping us at all it only helps stowed weapons maybe i can't even put it away that you can't bring fists out in this that's stupid so even if i just wanted to run around and have it auto reload for me i can't unless i have a second gun maybe next gun that spawns i'll pick that up we're at 400 eliminations we need 3600 more which is so ridiculous let's see if we can find anything from all this loot nothing in here We'll go check over by this area. There's got to be some dudes spawning here. There normally is some that are in this building, so let's take a peek. Really? Nothing? All right, I'm just going to go start the transmit event. We got no time to waste. Oh, wait, there is a gun right here. A three-line rifle. So we have 23 bullets in this. If I put it away, walk around for a second, does it refill it? 24 now. Wow. Still only 24. This covenant sucks unless it's gold. Literally no point in having it. Oh, I guess 24 is just the max. So I'm stupid. All right. 
Let's go, orb guy. Let's keep it moving. Come on. Why do you take so long to get moving? There we go. He calls for an escort, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna take my time. Like helping an old lady cross the street. There's a boom shrieker. The one elite that spawns so far during this. Everything else isn't really helpful. And I think we're already done. Yep. Jeez, Vaughn, relax. The dude just gets so mad constantly. Just screaming at me for helping an orb get home. Which was literally, it started up here. You went all the way around. You could have went down the steps, you dumb orb. That orb was taking Apple Maps. What do we got? Nothing I can upgrade. I feel like it knows what I'm trying to do and it's blocking me from it. Guess I'll try to upgrade my armor. We'll get it to level two. Can't quite get level three. We can go ahead and check inside for some MGKs and boom shriekers. I hear a boom shrieker. Holy shit, it's right next to me. Holy fuck. Get out of here. There's another one. Easy. I'm just gonna keep spawning. Go for it. I'll rack up those camos in no time. There's another one in an MGK. Take it. Hold on. Gotta reload. You'll take it in a second. Gone. Please reload the entire mag when I reload. Thanks. We got two camos from that too. Did he even say what we did? Probably Boom Shrieker and MGK eliminations, but I, I liked in Cold War when it popped up the camo and it would say what you did, not the challenge complete and then the camo pop up. We got another blitz to do, so let's just run through it. All right, back up to our spot. I have a feeling we're not gonna get Hotel Royale Harvest and we're not gonna get the Covenant we're looking for and this is gonna be a huge waste but either way i'm gonna play until i got gold viper on this thing please spawn in some elites so i can at least get those camos thanks doesn't look like they want to help me out though amphibian camo 30 boom shrieker eliminations let's go 70 more the boom shriekers actually fly by it does not feel like i've killed 30 of them and the higher round i get into the more they'll spawn actually I don't know how true that is. It feels like the higher round I get into, the more MGK spawn and not Boom Shriekers. I'm gonna reload 400 times to get back to my actual mag. The, sti the Stigma camo. Almost the Sugma camo. A nuke. Might as well just do it. Why not? Where's that Boom Shrieker? There it is. Gone. Easy rank up. We're at 160 crits. Just need like 640 more. Oh, you know what? We might as well get our rapid kills right here. I'll train these guys up at least a little bit. We got 20 seconds, so let's just go in for the kills. Uh-oh. We don't have enough bullets in the mag because it doesn't reload properly. That's annoying. I hate that I have to check my ammo for myself and it doesn't reload constantly or reload my whole thing up. There's 400 pack punch kills. 3,600 more to go. Oh, geez. Such a ridiculous number. I like that they decreased crits to lower than a thousand, but then they upped every, they like doubled everything else. I guess it wouldn't be very challenging if it wasn't like 4,000 kills, but it's not even like challenging. It's like challenge yourself to spend hours on Vanguard zombies is the challenge. Oh, ammo gremlin. Let's go. We got it. We got what we're looking for. All weapons refill. So let's see how fast we shoot. It's looking like it's refilling pretty fast. That's pretty good, actually. We have a harvest event, too. Is it Hotel Royale? If it is, this is the perfect storm. Oh, uh, no. Not Hotel Royale, but it's not that bad, honestly. We can try it out. We can see if there's a spot on uh, the little flaming wheel one. What is it? The flaming windmill? I don't know what to call it, but I'm very close to getting pack three, so I should probably do that, considering that the shotgun's damage falls off so hard. I don't know if I can get 2,000 points just sitting in here, though. Let's just see if there's any more elites I can take out. I hear some stomping. Yep, here we go. Boom Shriekers and MGKs. We're at 40 Boom Shriekers now. Let's Frost Blast. There we go. Easy. This is nice. I love that it instantly reloads for me. Maybe I should just upgrade perks and then use the money I get from completing the next harvest. Yeah, I might as well just upgrade my perks. Because the shotgun can still kill right now, just not as... You know what? No, never mind. I'm going to be very indecisive and I'm just going to get pack three. I'll get perks with the rest of my money after the harvest. Because we're already so close to getting pack three, might as well. It'll make getting money a lot easier. I'll consider it an investment. There we go. 30,000. There we go. Pack three. Still no pack cam on this game. Really hope they add that in season one. All right, spawn in. I feel like once you hop into a game, it's already predetermined what events you're going to get. This is our second harvest on this map. I feel like all of our harvests are going to be this map. Like it doesn't randomize after the game has started. It's kind of stupid. We're almost done with our jackrabbit kills. We got three rapid kills there. We need, we need 10 rapid kills now. So I'm going to train around for a second here. I think this is all the zombies are going to spawn at the moment. So let's kill these guys. I hear more spawning. So we'll take those out. We're at 600 eliminations with seven attachments. Not bad. Still very far away from getting everything else done. But this isn't even like the good harvest event on this map. The better one puts the third one over by this burning barn. This one puts the third one in here which isn't very easy to attack or I mean it's not very easy to defend rather because I'm pretty sure where the sitting is at determines where zombies are spawning not based on where you're standing so I could even go over to a spot that is better for killing zombies but it'll just be super slow but I'm gonna go ahead and move this first one gotta pick up all these runes here so I have to collect more later oh there's an MGK stuck in the rubble or he'll just walk right out sick let's just take him out real quick thank you 
Boom Shrieker, you can leave as well. Any more elites gonna spawn before I move the Sin Eater again? Is this a good spot to sit at? I don't feel like it is. If I shoot forward, zombies can still come up and hit me. I can't really aim too far to the left or the right because then the other side will get to me faster. And I'm on top of a zombie spawn, yeah. We need to find a better area. What is a spot where only zombies can come up from one way? That is within my, my pellet spread. Is there a spot like that on this map? Let's try to find out. First, let's get our rapid kill in. Nice little double points as well. Might as well go in while there's double points up. All right, we're at rapid kills 18 times now. Nice little imprint camo. I think we might be done with our jackrabbits as well because we're just getting camos popping up like crazy. Maybe they saw my video and they removed it. They removed our, our harvest event on, uh, what's it called? Hotel Royale. Well, let's move the Sun Eater one more time. Let's get this MGK out of here. What a sweep. Thank you. That's 10 of them. We're halfway there on those guys. We got to be getting close to halfway on our boom shriekers too. Is this a good spot? I just got to find the right crosshair placement. It doesn't look like it is because zombies are coming all the way up from the left. We're at 800 eliminations. We need way more stuff still add 200 to that and then triple it put that thing down and trip it triple it and reverse it it's gonna be a long day let's just go move it i don't think we can find a spot on this map at least not with my key brain hey we're done with our jackrabbits that was our 20th one yep blamed it I, I remember that being the last camo for that category so we're done with that let's just get out of here make sure we grab all this salvage so we can upgrade our armor when we get back all right let's check our covenants any upgrades or anything we can replace ours with i might want to get death blow instead of mother load i'm gonna get that because we do end up getting crits that's just easy ammo back at us so it's a win-win now we have a transmit event which sucks might as well just start upgrading perks we'll upgrade quick revive first oh i forgot to do the melee thing we got a tier four we don't have enough to upgrade jug now but that's fine the the health regen should be good make sure there's no elites that we're missing and then we'll hop right in a transmit anyone in here not looking like it oh wait i heard a boom streaker spawn there we go that helps are we at 50 now we got to be close oh there's a guy by mgk it was nice knowing you yeah all right three or more rapid critical kills 21 times how many times do i have to do that i remember that being a challenge i don't remember it because it's pretty easy i should be able to get it done without thinking about it too hard any decoys no or game there's some gamma bombs though i call them gamma bombs i'm gonna take them actually i don't know how i ended up with the c4 charge instead of the thermites that i had but that's where we're at might as well just have the gamma bombs instead they're pretty good yeah no elites in here why have i only seen one mgk i'm gonna go check by speed i doubt there's any down here but we might as well check now what is up with these spawns no elites There'll probably be a few on the transmit event let's start her up oh, i forgot to upgrade my armor though which sucks but i think we'll be fine knock on wood all right let's get moving i know you just want to go right down these stairs but we have to go all the way around for some reason come on i don't got all day get walking i haven't seen shino numa today either it's got to be predetermined we're just doing the same events over and over again so in that case we might have to find something on our harvest event that way we can just sit there and let this thing grind camos on its own might as well grab some diabolical damage number two we got one boom shrieker coming oh maybe two an upgrade from last time and it's already over so we can't even get the second kill all right we got a few mgks here now and some boom shriekers okay this is the round for us to get our elites that's one. Let's pick up this armor. Take on the other guy. Oh, there's two of them right next to each other. What's going on, fellas? We have 60 boom shriekers now, too. Literally, it's just going to be our kills that are hard to get. These MGKs, they might be tanking a little damage, but we just got three right there. And there's another one right here. Let's go. We're at 14 now. Let's go. Any more? Or did we just get lucky and have them all spawn so close? Let's check. Anyone home? Nope. What about down here? I think I, I see a boom shrieker for sure. No MGKs though. We'll check inside real quick. If there's nothing in here, we'll just go start the event. Oh, here's one. What's up, MGK? Goodbye. Any decoys in here? Nope. Monkey bombs though. Two of them. Two monkey bombs over two decoys? Might have to do it. Let's see if there's any other ones because we can just sit here and shoot the zombies all day. I don't want to get distracted by that. Not looking like it. Okay, let's go. We got to do our blitz. We can refill our armor here and then we should go check to see if we can upgrade. I'm pretty sure we have enough now. Let's do that before we forget. Did I check the covenants yet? I feel like I hopped in and instantly started like getting attacked by elites and I forgot to check. So I'll do that as well. The okay, armor is tier three now. Check the covenants. Bloodlust, shatter blast, and brain rot or shatter last, whatever it's called. Don't care. The nask plus blitz. Wow, surprised I was able to open that chest while the teleport was happening. Yeah, this is our like fifth blitz on this map. I'm pretty sure once you hop into a game, it sets whatever maps that you're going to be playing on for each objective, and then that's it. So that sucks. We don't have our harvest on Hotel Royale. Would it be worth it to back out? It might be. But also, we're so far in, we already, like, fully set up. We have the exact covenant that we want. Like, that level of RNG has worked for us. This level is not. I just want one map. Nice that I don't have to reload, though. I was getting sick of reloading 15 times to have the uh, I am I'm supposed to. Oh, I hear an MGK. 
and a boom shrieker. This MGK is actually hacking. He's shooting at me through the wall. This isn't Warzone, pal. I also haven't seen any camos pop up as a result of a covenant. Maybe I have. I just wasn't paying that much attention. So I'm just going to stand still here and see what I can do. See if we get any camo progress. Not seen anything yet. I'm going to grab this max ammo, though. Let's train them up. Let's train them up, and then I'll kill them all while standing still. Okay, this is a decent amount. Let's head right on over here. They're all coming in different directions, which is fine with me. We'll get all these kills. Kill these guys climbing up. That's a rank up. Three or more rapid critical kills 27 times. Easy camo. And we also got 10 kills rapidly. Not seeing any covenant kills popping up though, which is very disappointing. Marshall and maybe that's it. Nope, that's 70 boom shriekers. We're almost done with our boom shriekers. We're only on wave 10. There we go. 200 eliminations as a result of a equipped covenant. So it is tracking. We are very behind on that one. Oh, there's the MGK, but there's not enough time man all right let's check our covenants can't use any of those really we're already fully packed we have another harvest event this is going to be on the windmill map yep okay why does it do this if we already have a very small map pool why does it just keep recycling the same events i'm trying to cheese the game and it's not letting me so we have to we're forced to find a spot on that map let's go ahead and take out all the elites here so that is the least of our problems and then we just need the kills and then we can just sit back relax and watch this game unlock camos on its own i mean two more mgk eliminations and here's one of them oh there's two of them actually jeez he just knocked me into oblivion i'm actually in a different game now oh there's three here this is it this is our camo as long as we can get these kills well wow, i actually had to reload there and it only it's still only reloaded to eight and i think that's it we're done with mgks let's go we'll just kill this extra one for good measure and let's go keep looking around for boom shriekers because we're very close on those as well if we get all those done we can literally just afk the rest if we find a nice spot on that map which we're kind of forced to. Oh shit, there's one right here. MGK, get out of here. We're at 80 boom shriekers now. Just 20 more of those and we're done. There's another boom shrieker, Shaleep. Oh, we can probably upgrade some perks here. Let's get Diabolical up. Let's go get Jug up. And then I think we're good on everything else. We don't really need stamina up to be upgraded, but we have enough after we'll do it. There we go. Yeah, we're broke. We got all the upgrades we could. Seems like we're leveling up a lot though. I keep seeing rank up pop up. All right, I'm not concerned about 20 more boom shriekers. I'm sure we'll find them. Let's just hop in harvest and try to find a nice spot to sit at. Hey, this area probably isn't going to be the best spot because zombies spawn from there 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 and all out here you really gotta find a good spot for this because if we did have the sin eater over here we could just post up right on this wall but we got screwed not only on the map but the sin eater placement which sucks so i'm gonna try to get this thing to its third position making sure that we get all the boom shriekers along the way and then i'm just gonna wander around and look for a spot there's gotta be somewhere that i can exploit we're at 400 crits need to double that oh there's mgk guess what mgk i'm not dealing with you honestly sitting right on this third sin eater location might be a good spot we'll try it out mgk please dude you do not want the smoke get out of here we we're just unlocking camos while demolishing them too. I also saw something. I don't know if it's uh, a rumor or not, but it might have just been some rogue tweet that I saw. Apparently, if you stay in the same wave in zombies for over either 20 or 30 minutes, you'll get kicked from the game. So if that happens and I lose my camo progress, I'm going to be so pissed. Well, let's go ahead and move the Sun Eater to its final resting spot oh there's a boom shrieker goodbye let's make sure we take out all the boom shriekers and we get the mgk where's he at what's up big fella please die he's just sitting there tanking shots staring me in the eye all right now we need to find a spot all of the elites for the round are gone uh let's try on top of the sin eater i sit right here i feel like this isn't gonna be good because zombies gonna come to my left yep they're coming right over here to the left what if i stand in this corner i shoot like right here is this a good spot for it? If I'm shooting straight forward like this. If the zombie comes to my right, he'll eventually get hit by the pellet spread. He goes to my left. No, I actually, I don't know. This is tough. Let's try this. I'll set it up to go and I'll see how long we last. The fire rate might be slightly faster than what it's reloading at. And I am taking damage. So definitely not better than Hotel Royale especially if I have to reload and I'm not paying attention. So that's not good. It also just made me switch out my Gamma Bomb and my monkeys. So yeah, this spot is a no-go. We're at 1,200 Pack-a-Punch kills though. What about right here? Are zombies gonna spawn to my left? Or can I just shoot forward? Actually, hold on. I think they might've just been following my pathing when they ran up to the left there. If I can just sit right here and they'll all run at me from this angle, we're good. But I do see one zombie over there taking a different path. Damn, this could have been perfect for a few meddling zombies. Okay, so maybe this isn't the spot, but it doesn't like zombies are spawning back here maybe we try right here so i know normally there's a spawn on this wall right behind me but not when the sin eaters way over there this is extremely slow though the spawns definitely have an effect on this because i'll just be sitting here wasting a lot of ammo with the rate at which like this thing fires at but it does give me an ample amount of time to reload automatically yeah there's a huge amount of waiting here this might be too far away maybe
maybe in here is a little better. I doubt it. Yeah, they're coming from two angles. Has to be all one funnel. What about if I stand in this corner? This is a little closer. Maybe a little faster. It looks like I can get kills like this. We're still getting camos, even if we are just testing things out. Maybe I just need to adjust my macro to only shoot once and then cycle like very slowly, but I don't know how to do that. I guess let's test it. I'm putting it to auto. It looks like it can do the job. The zombies to the right are a little worrying, so let me move my cursor over to the right a little more. It does waste an extreme amount of ammo. Okay, this works, I think. I think we found our strat. I just need to pay attention because I'm not entirely safe here. It just saves me the clicking. Now, this is an issue with this, though. It does auto-reload for me and everything, but when it reloads, it's only reloading to eight. So maybe when I see that it has to reload, I have to reload myself. I'll just keep here spamming R. I don't know, actually. Like, it's getting crits. It's getting kills. It's just not as optimal as I, I would like it to be. I got so spoiled by Hotel Royale. And this zombie does not get hit. Hold on. What we got over here? Max ammo. We'll take it. Maybe right here is a better spot because they have to walk around the fence regardless. And I can kind of just aim here towards the right. Just got a frost blast when I need to reload and then let it do its thing. There's a spawn right there too. So it is not that slow. Okay. I guess I'll just roll with this. If this is going to work, it's going to work. So I'm going to sit back, relax, cozy up with a good book because education is very important. And uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done grinding out these 4,000 kills. Wow. That. Dang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, immediately after doing that bit, I ran out of ammo or just switched weapons because I was out. That's not good. That's not how I want it to be going. Also, my headset is off. I can't hear anything. This is weird. Okay, we're back. Okay, I've been doing this for a little bit. I'm. It's not completely AFK. I'll have to just like reload manually sometimes. Sometimes use my frost blast, but... I'm at the point where I'm very bordering on shitting here in my chair. So I need to go take a dump. There's no way to pause this game. So I'm just going to have to let it do its thing. And hopefully I'm back in time to stay alive. I'm going to try to fight it for as long as I can. But I don't. I feel like that time's coming soon. It's starting to prairie dog. I, I need to get out of here. If we die, we'll just restart and hopefully get Hotel Royale. But I need to shit. So I'm going to let the game play itself. I'll be back. I actually took what might have been the fastest shit of my life and I still didn't make it out. Damn, I was really rushing it too. <sighs> well, let's see. Let's see how far we got. Let's see. We got the 2,400 eliminations. That's not bad. All of our crits are done. 2,000 pack punch eliminations. Our rapid kills were almost halfway. We need to get our covenant kills back up. Boom Shriekers were extremely close on. MGKs are gone, done. Survivalists. Seven attachments is done. Our rapid crits are done and our jack rabbits are done. I'm going to switch to the iridescent and camo and we're gonna hop in and try to finish this jeez i can't believe me having to shit ended up us losing but that's fine as long as we get hotel royale i need to put my sweatshirt back on it was one of those take your sweatshirt off type shit all right so we've already done all of our setup before we need to do it all over again so i'm gonna go ahead and speed through this and i'll see you guys once i'm all set up all right we got our sin eater over here a good spot i found on shino numa is right here in this corner I think we can just sit here and grind. Double points that we like to see. Normally, whenever I get double points in a harvest, I try to speed run through and get all the sin eaters done. Because with the double points, whenever you finish an event, you get like 12,000 for it, which is really, really good. But there's no way I can get all three sin eaters done in the 25 seconds that it gives us. MGK, come here. You're not about to shoot me through the entire building. This guy's targeting is ridiculous. He'd just be shooting through walls and everything. So you need to go. The worst part about this is it wouldn't be too bad if when I reloaded, it reloaded all my ammo, not just eight rounds. I have to reload four times to fully reload. We got 1,600 eliminations as a result of a confident. Need 400 more of those, and I'm not sure how many kills we need. Probably about another 1,000. Let's just see if this works. It's looking like it's getting kills. It might be good. I'm gonna grab this insta-kill, just because I know the reload's gonna get me screwed. I'll just keep reloading here until I'm back to 24. There we go. They brought us some armor, too. That's nice. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Let's get the reading back out. Might get hit a few times, that's fine with me. As long as they still die. Where was I? Chapter 4. Circumcision. Very interesting read. I think we're good. I think this will get us all the way up to Gold Viper, so I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, there's 4,000 eliminations. We just need to catch up on our Pack-A-Punch kills, and then we'll be all done. I think we had 400 to go last I checked, so we're on our last legs here. Is that it? 4,000 Pack-A-Punch eliminations, let's go. That's not Gold Viper, though. What are we missing? It's got to be our fast eliminations, right? Our 10 crits, our 10 kills rapidly. Let's turn the macro off. Jeez, that was ridiculous. It's almost three hours into this recording. It's two hours, 55 
45 minutes. For some of this, I haven't even been doing anything. If I hadn't had to poop, it would have already been done. But in Cold War, if I were to hop into a game and not have any camos for a weapon, I'd be done in like an hour max. Like an hour 20 max, maybe. This is literally double that. Probably triple, actually, by the time we're going to be finished. I'm just going to go ahead, end this, and then we're going to try to get those rapid kills. The zombies really just need to leave me alone so I can put these runes in. Let's do it. There we go. All done. Only got 50k from that. I say only, like, that's that's not a lot, but I felt like I've been in Shinonuma all day. Okay, do I finally have it? Finally, we have an ammo gremlin. I'm already pack three, but this thing is not doing that much damage especially these guys and they won't let me shoot their backpacks let's just get jug tier five we'll get dead shot tier five and then i guess we're doing a transmit event i'll try to get my kills rapidly it is ridiculous how long it takes to get something gold in this game not only do i have to already spend the hours leveling this thing up to 70 but now i'm spending the hours just grinding the camos okay we got that to tier five might as well just get everything tier five we have the money and we'll see if enough zombies spawn to try out the 10 rapid kills but it might be bugged I mean, it's, it showed that I had progress on it earlier, but I haven't seen a single metal pop up with my own eyes. Now we're super fast. Come on, speed goal. I really do not care about you, MGK, but I guess I will kill you just for my sake. Thank you. We can probably get tier three armor too. That'll probably help us. All right, let's just head in. I've gotten this transmit event so many times, it's ridiculous. I wish I could just tell him to go down the stairs and just be done, but no. I'm gonna try to let all these zombies spawn and then I'll see if I can just get the 10 rapidly real quick. How many are right here? Probably like eight. Oh my God, it's going the wrong way. Well, I guess I was going the wrong way. This seems like enough though. If I take all of them out. No way, that's not 10. There we go, carnage. Pretty sure we finished all of our covenant eliminations, or at least I would hope so with how long we were just sitting there in the same spot. But this might be a good way to farm out our carnage metals. Because they're not spawning behind me right now. This is perfect. I just can't move too close. Otherwise, it'll end the event. I'm just gonna toss nades at this MGK. Oh, he's just gonna push right up to me. I can take you out from here, pal. Don't you worry about it. Now, let me just throw a decoy right here i'll let them line up on their own that way we're not sitting here waiting for spawns is that all that's gonna spawn right now all right took them all out in three shots have i even gotten a single carnage medal sitting here am i only getting slaughters looks like i'm only getting slaughter medals unless i'm right near a spawn it seems like i'm constantly shooting and constantly getting kills it's just there's like a very slow time in between a slaughter and a carnage medal where I have to get 10 kills. There we go. 10 rapid kills 30 times. We just need to do that 20 more times. We got Pit Viper. That's close enough to Gold Viper, right? Honestly, this seems like a decent spot to get this done. This is just a lot of mindless clicking. You know what? I'm throwing the macro on. I'll just walk around shooting. Who cares? I'm gonna save myself the carpal tunnel. Bloodbath. Do these things stack? I hope they stack. Oh, gotta reload anyways. Let's do this so I can reload. There we go. Double points. I'll take that. Really got nothing else to spend our points on, but might as well have it. Are zombies just constantly spawning out there? Like, was I just actually getting kills doing that? There we go. 35 times. This is the way. Blue racer. Nice looking camo. And every crit I get puts two more bullets in the mag, as well as this automatically reloading, or at least slowly reloading for me. This is a pretty good deal. Just can't get too close to the orb. We'll be able to get this whole thing done and then exfil immediately when we get out was that an insta kill that probably helps getting the 10 kills faster oh not when i have to reload though the spawn's slowing down or i'm just killing them too fast like what's going on here might just be killing them too fast there we go insta kill actually hurts us from getting 10 kills rapidly okay, we're at 40 times just 10 more and i think we're done this might be a good spot right here actually this is probably the most optimal spot i can just sit here and shoot here until i see zombies spawn into that door get a few of them go right back gotta reload okay this year's zombies grind is so stupid like it's not hard at all unless like you have to poop or something like i had to but like it just takes so much longer all the grinding in this game is just exploiting what you're not supposed to do like i am not supposed to be at this point of the event just sitting here grinding zombies out like i feel like it's very not grinder friendly besides like the crit thing like it's an inconvenience to grind these camos rather than something that can just happen by you playing which i think is is pretty stupid i'm going back to moving around sitting still is gonna make me go to sleep oh insta kill that's not good that's gonna slow us down we've got another carnage metal though in a massacre metal. The spawns are just so slow while insta kills active. Good thing it just ended. We've got to be like two more away and then we're done. Unless I'm forgetting something else, which could be entirely possible and would actually just send me into madness because I've been doing this for too long. Come on, there's five rapidly. We're almost at the 10. Why can't I get it now? There we go. Rank up. Is this it? 10 kills rapid 50 times. Let's go. We finished it. We're done. 
orb. Let's move. Half tone. Show me gold viper. There we go. Golden viper, baby. Finally done. It only took three hours and 12 minutes. Maybe some extra. Jeez. <sighs> I definitely could have done that a lot more efficiently, too. If only I would have uh, just like backed out if I didn't see Hotel Royale and if I didn't have to poop. Either way, we're finally done. Let's go exfil and then we can check out all the camos we want. Check the covenants real quick first. Unholy ground. We'll take that. We'll repair our armor. Then let's exfil. We need to leave now. I've played 20 something rounds of Vanguard zombies today. That should be like community service. I should get a tax deduction from that. Now we just need to kill 39 more zombies, 37 zombies now. It's gonna train up a little bit or decoy down Get to the decoy and then you can eat a nade. Yep, easy. MGK, your services aren't needed here, just like they were in rap. Go make a punk album. One zombie left, let's go. Where's the portal? Show me, where is it? Oh, there it is right through here lots of zombies around here holy shit eat a decoy eat a gamma bomb and then i'll just frost blast you for good measure and we're leaving bye bitch all right we finished this game with 2000 almost 500 eliminations of 1115 crits they might as well have just kept crits all the way up at fucking 2500 all right now let's see what the gracie auto looks like with gold viper Ooh, i really do like the gold viper in this game this shows like orange there's like an orange gold viper here where it's that crimson red is so nice this gold viper is just insane love the camos in this game i won't take too long on this but here we go gold viper here is plague diamond i like this a lot we we noticed this on the combat shotgun last time we looked but the nice little stained glass shattered looking pattern here on the metal is so nice i like plague diamond a lot in this game i just wish the diamond texture was fixed a bit and dark aether definitely needs to be red please just change it to red and we'll all be fine or just have an option it would be cool if like you got a mastery camo you could choose what primary color you wanted to be i'm sure it wouldn't be that crazy to do but yeah there's the mastery camos let's go see what it looks like in game with gold viper all right this is what the gracie auto looks like in game with gold viper on it this is really really nice most of the gun is that accent color the the textured black but i think it works it works really well with this i think if the rolls were reversed and it was the all red with the black accent as the metal part it wouldn't be as nice but gold viper in this game just looks beautiful i really really like how it came out all right this has been probably the longest video i've recorded in a long time it is at three hours 18 minutes on top of what i recorded for the intro that was separate so yeah this is taking me a long time i'm i'm gonna have to end the video here if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it and you don't dislike if you're new here please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later